You're listening to the Gene and Steve Show. What am I even for anymore? Step aside and let the big kids play. You know, as far as I'm concerned, it's a Monday. So you can all relive Monday. It feels like a Monday, but it kind of feels like it should be a Thursday because I'm kind of done with the week. <laughs> really? It's not like it's been a bad week. I'm just uh-huh. kind of done with the week. It, it's it's really, move ahead. It's weird because, you know, in, in theory, a weekend doesn't really exist for us because every day is a weekend. But, I mean, because we can, it's not like we do... I mean, we do do things different, but it's not like we have to turn up for work Monday to Friday and then, no. you know. Yeah, and even that, you're just like, no, I should be there, but... Eh. So it's it's <laughs> weird that <laughs> Monday to said. Friday is some kind of mm-hmm. hill for us to climb because we could simply simply move part of the hill to Sunday. Mm-hmm. And, and You guys are a hill to us. Yes. Yes, you're a large <laughs> mountain to climb over. Not that I'm making any, you know, aspersions on people's weight, but <laughs> I'm not calling our our listeners Kilimanjaro. Are you not? No, because it kind of sounds like you were. Maybe just mm-hmm. Mount Helen. Wow, I instantly pictured Kristen Bell and 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 the whole Plains of Africa song. What? I know. Where did that come you mean from? Toto. Yeah, well, they did. Yeah, the Toto song Africa. Yeah, yeah. and they, yeah. you know. Weird. What does that have to do with Christian Bale? I have Bale? no idea. <laughs> okay. I don't like Christian mm-hmm. Bale. I like Christian Bale. I know but you I've like always Christian Bale. What if Christian Bale was in a costume? Would you like him then? Oh, yeah. I'm not talking about... I'm talking about <laughs> Kristen Bell. Oh, Kirsten oh. Bell. That one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the blonde chick. <laughs> I thought you were... What, you, you pictured me Bale. thinking of Christian Bell in Batman okay, leaping across the Serengeti. Yes, that's what it I'm sounded Batman. like. Batman! Woo! Yeah. I no. thought of his voice as Batman singing the, the <laughs> Africa by Toto. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I'd have a go, but I, but I can't. But I can't. Okay, so Kirsten Bell, not Christian mm-hmm. Bale. I find her weirdly attractive, and I don't know why, because I really... Is she's. she's no, I don't think so. But I there's something about her. It's the same with Rihanna. I can't put my finger on it, although I'd like to, <laughs> of why I think she's hot, but she is. And it's like Kristen Bell. There's, there's, there's something about her, and I just don't know what it is. Okay, so Inaccessibility. So, what is, so, so, so with all of the weekend thing and not working, you think of Kristen Bell running through the plains of the Serengeti yeah. singing to, the, to Africa. Well, I was calling the listeners a mountain and Kilimanjaro. <laughs> And I think, oh, Kilimanjaro is referenced in that song, isn't it? I don't know. I think, I think it is. so, yeah. Oh, my yes. God, wow. <laughs> How deep a mind have I got? So all of you that call me shallow, fuck you. <laughs> so you bust the reins down I in just Africa? want to say hello yeah, do. to everybody that's coming in the Periscope room. It hello, is, everybody. It's busy. Yeah, as sure Thanks as Kilimanjaro rises like Olympus above the Serengeti. There oh. you go. Oh, God, I just want to sing wow. the song. Doesn't everybody <laughs> want to sing that song? That just, video they did was fantastic. It was, it was mean, great. However, really I will just let everybody know that when Jane and myself will be on Safari in Africa, we too will produce a video oh God. and sing that. <laughs> it will happen. I promise okay, all of you. Like the only Are you going to get inside ever an elephant vagina? <laughs> yes. Yes, I will. You still haven't seen that, have no, you? you no, ha- oh, it's, God, okay. It's wrong. It's, it's wrong. It's Yes. <sighs> <laughs> no, we will do that. That is my promise to every listener. Because yesterday you were like, can't wait till we go to Africa. <laughs> I was mm-hmm. like, why? <laughs> yeah. And you're so, like, to be Kirsten Bell. Yeah. I was like, what? Oh, well, you know, it's just, it's one of those things. Just, <laughs> it kind of, I, I don't know if everybody saw that video. I don't know. Yeah, it's Dak Shepard and, and Kirsten Bell. They're husband and wife um, yes they yeah they went to africa and this was they actually he's this, the actor that looks like a total loser but he's banging her every night so who really is the loser in the story here i think he's hot really yeah <laughs> you're just like what is he from why do i know him uh, 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 uh name stuff he knows 
I, oh, I don't know if he knows this one. The mm-hmm. I can't remember what it is. It's the one where they go into the future, and uh, idiocracy. Idiocracy. That's right. It. That's yes. It. Yeah. He was using yeah. that. Also known as the um, eight years of Trump presidency. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> just put two and two together. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. Scary, oh. right? Okay. Um, yeah, they actually filmed that before they like got married and had kids and stuff like that. So they but they put it together later down the road. So they waited for years. Mm-hmm. They kept that to themselves and didn't. You see, that's well, the difference the between video. me and Jane. We share everything with you guys immediately, yeah. basically because none of us can really hold on to a surprise. Apparently, he's also the lead singer of Nickelback. <laughs> yes, he is the lead singer of Nickelback. <laughs> wow, that's kind of scary. On, on I haven't so really many thought about that, but yeah, they look pretty similar, huh? That's kind of good weird. morning, Miguel. Apparently, uh, on his YouTube channel, he has a guy that got sat on by an elephant and went up his ass. That's, so you're on his YouTube channel? Yeah. Okay. I will be in a year's time. <laughs> but no, I, I, we will do that. That is my promise. We will do a full well, Toto Africa surely. rendition. On a, well, let's face it. You that, you let's know, face to do it. All the tour guides that are down there doing that kind of thing, they're just like, oh, Jesus, here's another couple <laughs> wanting to do that. Because you know it happens all the time. The imagine. difference being is mine is going to be a fucking production. Your Wilson Phillips one was a fucking production. My Wilson production. Phillips was brilliant. That was <laughs> that was epic. And it still Jeez. has hardly any views. That's because it's blocked in most countries. I looked on the analytics and it was like blocked in most countries for copyright violation. I'm like, well, of course it is. I'm nicking their song. <laughs> I'm not trying to make money from it. Jesus, I'm thinner than those. The, only, the, the only video. way that would have been better is if you actually sang it. I, that was like an awesome video, and I have to say, I, you you think I really suck at like you know filming, but that was pretty good. Okay, <laughs> I I was able I was <laughs> able to edit enough together to get that. Yeah. <laughs> Bearing in mind, I framed every shot. I told you exactly how to frame it. Okay, fine. Okay. I'm sorry, darling, but there's only one one uh, enough room for one gay producer. Uh, she uh, was never trying sh- to be a gay producer. <laughs> script, script writer and, maybe and that's major why, star. Maybe that's why I suck at it so bad. And why you're so good at it. Yeah. Yeah. I bet he picked up his own costume, too. I did. I did. I think the best thing, actually, <laughs> and, I, and I will give jane full credit for this is the the album cover of of that of that single yeah with with me in the three poses all on the wishing well i made that photo that was awesome that was very good i like that (laughs) we have a lot of new periscope periscope Periscope. (laughs) are they all french i don't know did you want to say hello to them Uh uh-huh hello (laughs) i am from france i don't even know what that was that was really ropey that one wasn't it I'm from France and I'm dyslexically <laughs> thick. <sighs> don't worry if you're French. You can stay in the room. We'll forgive you. I don't think there's a lot of French people Is in there here. Is it not? No, not today. Normally you have a lot of French people. Sacre bleu. Au revoir, Shoshana. Uh, <laughs> I, I think he just issued a fatwa on somebody. It's a line from Inglorious Bastards. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Say it again. Au revoir, Shoshana. His name is Shoshana or something like that. Oh, okay. Whenever she's running away from the Germans. Oh, I haven't seen that. I need to watch that It is that really, movie. really good. Yes, it really good. It. It, is, it is really, really You've good. You've watched it? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, is I it said one of those I ones drawn. I fell asleep in? Yes. Okay. No, I don't even think I started it. No, you didn't. No. No, we did, but I watched it. You fell asleep immediately. Mm. So. Wait, um, I'm confused. Miguel Miguel's doing a show tonight. Only... Why are you confused? It's a day of the week. Oh, okay, yeah, fair enough, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, Miguel says you're the only gay in Africa. <laughs> I know, because they kill all the rest of them. They're quite brutal about that. No, isn't it Africa that, well, I know Africa's a continent, so it's not like they have a law in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I am ruler of Africa, I don't know why I'm using this voice. <laughs> you need to pull out your whole Eddie Murphy thing or something. <laughs> yeah, I love that film. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wipers. <laughs> um, but yes, yes. Um, yes. Oh, you got somebody from France now. They just, hey! they just said kiss from France. Ah, oh, and, and a good tonguey kiss to you. Uh, I'm just sitting here doing my show and I just uh, uh, I give French kiss you. <laughs> okay, that is gross. And, You're and welcome. Just, that was not necessary. <laughs> that was not necessary. Marcus. <laughs> He loves um. Inglorious Pastors, but it makes Steph cry a little. 
Ah, uh, yes. I would imagine <laughs> it's it's always awkward, you know, for somebody like F- SSF to 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 watch anything like that. It's got to be like. That's oh, bad. That's bad. I don't have my phone plugged in, Miguel. You can't call yet. Call in a bit. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that together yet today. It's like noon. Yeah, I know, but I'm 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 all drugged up. I'm really feeling like I've been getting up earlier and like doing like a lot of work earlier in the day than I usually do. Like I'm actually working before the girls go to school, and it's like by the time we hit noon, it feels like I'm already done for the day. Yeah, you're kind of really yeah. You're like acne cream. (laughs) What? You're proactive. I'm proactive. <laughs> you like that? Nah, I, that was deep there. So tickets available no, in the it's foyer. it's weird. It's like, I feel like I've already board. had like my, well, I've only had like, you know, five hours, but it feels like my eight hours are done. Oh, we I have somebody, sorry. Stuff. <laughs> ADD kicking in. Hello, reporting <laughs> for duty, sir. Uh, just had something. We, so do we still have the French person in the room? Fuck no, I don't know. I can talk faster, but it's probably going to be a bit <laughs> difficult and I'll start slurring my words a little bit. So, French person, if you're still in the room, put your hand up virtually. <laughs> um, oh, hang on. You got nothing yet? El, uh, put the hand up. Uh, por favor. <laughs> no, wait, that's not French. We. Oui. <sighs> put your hand up, yes. No, we're going to wait. We're uh, going to totally, we're going to, we are going to hold the show. Said, I look like I'm 23, but trying to be 30. I'm puzzled. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> hang on a minute. Let's get... What I advise that, that, that Periscope person is to get a bottle of water, fine. get a bottle of water, <laughs> open the cap, and get ready to pour that on the burn. The burn. The, the burn. burn. <laughs> I was doing that for the French person. I don't think they're there anymore. <sighs> uh, probably because you did what you did Toss and pop. stuck your tongue out, and that yeah. was gross Damn it. and just inappropriate. I was going to ask him what he thought of his country's you know, ban on... And emailing like what the fuck am i watching <laughs> i don't know you're the one watching we're just doing our thing um you're watching the jane and steve show well technically you're helps. watching jane of the jane and steve show yes nobody wants to see steve like to see steve i'm black <laughs> and gay Really? I saw like a little little <laughs> cue of a Hawaiian Islander coming out in you. I could. <laughs> <laughs> He's, what the fuck I don't know. In my that? mind, I had. You I said had, a jazz handing. I, Steve, no, but I. We but can I, hock but a loogie. I, it, that's it. <laughs> oh, I can hock a loogie. Um, <laughs> um, yes. So what were you saying about the French person? Oh, well, I was going to ask him what he thought about his country making that ban on bosses can't email you in the evenings or weekends. Yeah, I asked that question on Periscope. I, that's probably why I have a lot of people in there. Hello to oh. everybody that's just joining. Um, but, you know, I asked, you know, should they be allowed to contact you anytime, mm-hmm. you know, and email you kind of any hour of the day? And, you know, one person, I've seen a couple people say, but one person really went on to it. And they're just like, no, no, because my time is my time and I have private time and they shouldn't be allowed to encroach on my private time. You have a choice. I'm not sure what they do during private time, but they were very concerned Masturbate. about their private time. Mm-hmm. There's nothing so. worse than you're just about to knock one off on a decent video and your boss's notification pops up. I need you in the office 9 a.m. I'm like, yeah, I'm coming now. <laughs> and that, yeah, it wouldn't work. Wouldn't work. But, you know, and we were talking about this before the show. And, and I'm like, well, you cannot answer your email. I don't understand why this is even a problem. You know, it's like, I mean, I'll, I email people middle of the night because if I'm yeah. up and I remember something, yeah, I mean, Miguel's saying just don't answer it. I yeah, mean, and I mean, unless you're being paid f- to be on tap at all times, mm-hmm. you know, and you're going to know because you're going to be on a very, very, very nice cushy salary. If you're a paramedic on call, you probably yeah. should take the email. T- take the text, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is 911. Because everybody, Help. yeah. <laughs> Subject line, 911 emergency. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You, you might want to be available, but I think, you know. I think Sorry, it went in my spam folder. Oh, we got somebody says one of their bosses used to text them on the weekend. So what did you think about it? I mean, I know a lot of people actually get really pissy about that. And, but, and like, I, France is actually trying to ban employers from being able to do that. And I think, I think when it comes down to it, the reason that they're coming up with that is, like, really stupid. They're saying, you know, employees leave the office um, and, you know, but they remain attached by, like, an electronic leash. Um, yeah, don't tell them that. I mean, yes, that's the uh, truth. No, but don't tell them. No, the that. one that said their boss used to do it. He said, you know, he actually confronted his boss and told him not to do it anymore. Mm. That was 
got some big balls to do that. But that's good. Honest. I mean, I would respect but, that. If somebody said, can you not text me on the weekend? I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. I, I get it. Sorry. Because you've got to realize that, you know, for for captains of industry, you know, we're, we're, we we so never you. stop. Oh, yes. Okay. yes. I'm a captain of an industry <laughs> or something of procrastination. I'm the captain of industry of procrastination. <laughs> And sounds like a disease. It you does, doesn't for it? That. Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put it on my procrastination. <laughs> that must hurt. <laughs> no, only when it starts growing hair. Okay. <laughs> then I need to shave my procrastination a little bit. <laughs> okay, that's just just so everybody's gross. aware. I'm currently picturing my taint as procrastination. <laughs> we just, all I just got want, that. Okay, I we just, all got that. Okay. Don't, don't worry. It's just that little gap between something productive and something invested. And another day where he's obsessed with. <laughs> taint he is I, you know i never heard that word until i met you and i was like what the fuck's a taint you're I like mean, this part be, okay <laughs> darling let's be honest here how many words haven't you heard until you met me okay a lot i learned the entire dictionary <laughs> after i met steve and went oh my god um i mean you were quite happy to offer uh, uh ask for a belgian waffle before you met me soon changed that didn't we <laughs> after you, before after you said taint <laughs> that's um, right yeah, so I don't know. I you know, I don't have that problem with employees contacting me. And I so I I don't I don't know what that's like. I don't know if that's annoying. I mean, did you ever have that with like your scheduling or anything like that? Yeah, uh, but my boss was really cool, so so it didn't matter. No, it didn't matter. No. So would she would text you? your request and include a nude. Mm-hmm. It'd be like, can you come <laughs> into the, the 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 office early on Monday? By the way, here are my tits. Mm-hmm. Actually, she was lesbian, that, so it didn't actually, matter. Awesome. <laughs> okay, I don't think she was that kind of lesbian. I don't care. Okay, she wasn't that In kind of lesbian. In my mind. Okay. But your board just turned up. My other one. The one that's yes. proper... Does he need to... He'll leave it outside. Okay. <laughs> um, I, You know, I... The... We have a whiteboard problem. We we'll do. We'll go into that in a minute. We do. Um, yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're growing. I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know... I don't think it would bug me, but I get some people the are just option like. To, that should so be the case, though. Oh, see, what? that's so sexist for me to say that. What well, if you got a hot female? Oh, boss. don't even. <laughs> well, I, you know, I would, I wouldn't want that. You know, I'd like to know that she's thinking about me at three a.m. in the morning. She yeah. texts me, "I need you on Monday." Like, <laughs> I could be there now. <laughs> Okay, it's not usually meant for that kind of thing. Now, Marcus, I live in a porn narrative. I just realized In a really bad one <laughs> at that. Um, now, see, Matt said, for me, I could go either way. Look at it as a positive way, like you do good at your job, mm-hmm. and so they need you to yes. work on it, mm-hmm. you know. So that's a, that's a good way to look at it. I don't think a lot of people do that. It would be nice that, yeah, I mean, you know. Now, Marcus says when he's working on his referee schedule, he'll fire off a text at, or email at 3 o'clock in the morning if he needs to. Yeah, so. but you're just... Uh, get doing that <laughs> no but that's do it from your you phone. do you, you do, yeah, your watch phone <laughs> <laughs> how do you type when you're masturbating on a phone that's what i'm I, i'm just if you've got your watch phone and you do it look at look at look at that look at the size there i'm just like oh, that's it um being <laughs> so said, bad, isn't it? oh i had somebody say something in i could in swahili i know it was just like about that long oh, paragraph shit. it was huge so. and and i bet you he didn't copy it I, so no. he's not going to rewrite it no. again. I think I'm the only person that does that. Oh, really? I have like a ridiculous need. When I type out something, I copy paste it. I might even paste it somewhere else if it's really important, but I'll make sure I've copied it in case the page re- doesn't refresh or the text okay. I need to read. So everybody uses voice text? Is that a thing? Voice to text? You really do that at three o'clock in the morning? You dude, I need your balls. Monday morning, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> bring him. He's talking about his ref schedule, <laughs> like for soccer. <laughs> Bring all the ten-year-old boys I mean, to the to the field on Sunday. I don't want to hear your voice text. No. I mean, I mean, on the plus side, I guess it would be spelled correctly. I gave up talking that. to Cortana because she kept saying that she wouldn't like acknowledge what I'm saying because I'd use the word "fuck" too many times in it. Right. See, I so, talk too fast for Cortana to understand me. You two talk too fast for most people to understand you. Which is interesting because as a Briton, I've had to slow down my speech for you Americans because you couldn't understand me. And yet you've always... You didn't talk that fast. I did. I talked fast Mm -hmm. enough that people didn't understand me. I'd already slowed down before I kind of even met you because I'd already realized that Mm -hmm. was a problem. So now I just talk like I'm retarded. 
Oh, this, see, that's <laughs> awesome. Now, st- see, SS Stuff says, you know, yes, voice text, it changes the words, though, usually to penis. See, that wouldn't be a problem for Steve's messages. No, that means her dictionary has learned <laughs> that pretty much everything she says is penis-related. <laughs> The person that I told, I yes. said, had the really yeah. big comment. Yeah. He said it again, but I didn't catch it. Oh no! <laughs> no. Please, we're, we're not, we're not being horrible to you. Please do it again. This I think time, he said something about his wife's boss, something, something, them five kids, or something at the end. His, okay, I'm ready. I'm watching. Okay, I'm okay. Ready. Th- this is Jane's full he's concentration. Go, he's actually saying, "Are you ready?" <laughs> okay, all right, we're ready. Here we go. Watching, watching. Watching. Hello to everybody that's For joining everybody that's listening on, on speaker, we have this broadcasting live on Periscope. He says it'll so, take a minute. So he didn't, uh, after that whole dude. conversation, <laughs> he didn't copy it. That's he just went, oh, she'll catch it the next time. Hello, yeah. seriously, it's me. Um, I'm still watching. I'm not going to speak. I'm just going to watch. And when I start talking, that's you fine. stop. I will. Okay. I will. <laughs> so, so, I mean, the thing, the thing with bosses contacting you, mm-hmm. you know... The, Yes, I think that one way that obviously you are considered important enough for him to text. My is- wife, my wife's boss called her all the time. Ended up she was screwing him and left me and our five children. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I think I saw something about wife's boss sorry and five kids. Sorry, we had to make you repeat that three times. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my Sorry, answer to I'm that. Sorry, I'm laughing. That was just Dude, it's totally okay to start drinking now. <laughs> totally okay. Well, I think that was already... I mean, this isn't like currently happening. It You've made happened. him relive that horror three times. Notice I distanced <laughs> myself from that. Before it was like, no, we want to know. That's now it's like... didn't copy it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's the pain of but it. But he put it out there again. Thank you for sharing. Sorry, I left. Um, <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, that does. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of put a dampener on the show now, dude. <laughs> I'm don't know where to go with that. <laughs> See, I always think it's better if if your wife is going to have an affair on you because this happened to my brother-in-law is that she ends up having an affair with a woman. Cuz then mm. and I always said to my brother-in-law cuz he got distraught I've about it. I always encouraged that. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I've known t- I've known two guys who who their their women have run off with another woman. And each time they've been it's like they're more cut up about it than if they went with a guy and I'm like, "No, think about this." Right? You were it. She couldn't find another guy like you. Her only recourse was to go female. That's not exactly the way it works. That's though. exactly how I would feel. I know that. I know. Like I said, you've always encouraged yeah, that for other people. Just let your wife have another girl. I mean, God, you've encouraged that with me. You're like, mm, I don't mind. No, I'm cool. She can move in here. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But I don't know. Going back to bosses. Yeah. <laughs> not, not like Steve's lesbian world. Um, wow, they were married for 17 years. See, he's bringing this up, not me. Um, yeah, they were married for 17 years and that happened. Wow, that's that's bad. Um, now, Miguel, I got you on hold a minute, but I got the sound down, so just hold on for a sec. SS Steph says her <laughs> boss doesn't contact me, um, but every other motherfucker that works there does constantly. I think, Rose, she's talking to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. I, Steph, honestly, <laughs> what you need to do is just start sending topless pics to Rose. So I got a whole thing going on in my mind nowadays. <laughs> her and Who Rose. She doesn't. <laughs> okay, let's take Miguel's call. Hi, Miguel. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Right. Oh, you sound better. Yeah, you're not dead. I don't. Yeah, I don't sound as sexy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, yeah, we're kind of not as interested in it's having like you, you speak now. Younger sounding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, okay, then I'll talk more like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so wet right now. Oh, everyone, my ex, ex, my ex, clap having Jezebel of a wife <laughs> ended up. It's nice to see you got over that had, one. Thank you. She's a good for nothing come dumpster, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> now. She she ended up cheating on me with a bunch of girls and didn't even hook me up and involve me. That you see, and that yeah, and and that's the one rough side is if you you know if your wife's going to go off with another woman and she doesn't. But doesn't does at that least make go, you feel better, or does would. that? Yeah. It didn't, it didn't really matter because I banged the neighbor and she did anal, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> See, this I don't is know what, where to go with that. See, this is I what I love neighbor, about all of us. Anal. Nobody's ever brought up the quality of the relationship. It always comes down to lesbian or anal. Uh-huh. And it's like one Maybe or the other. And we're good. <laughs> Maybe that's why all the old... The, the relationship we had wasn't bad. It was, But it was friend more friend-like. <clears throat> it wasn't like it should be. Mm-hmm. You know? So yeah, it yeah. was easy to... It was definitely stray off the res. Especially after I found out she was telling some girl that she loved her. And I was like, really? Come on now. 
Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's 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 a bit rough. So, uh, how long did it? Did you have um, like uh, not obviously a literal period, but a a a metaphysical period for you to get over that? You know what's weird is I'm very I'm I'm horribly good at compartmentalizing things. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a problem with. It. I just moved on. Yeah, that's, good. that's exactly what happened to me. I mean, I was married for ten years, and literally the day, <coughs> the day, um, the the day that we actually finally split up, which granted was me being taken away by the police, but um, <laughs> but but the day we split, <laughs> yeah, true story. <laughs> but the very next day, so I kind of class the next day as the day that we we officially split. I I never no, regretted it once. I I just I, I same as you. I just I just moved on. For me, it was a relief. It was over. Yeah, because you, it sounded like you had a real horrible time with that jerk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She was. She my was my ex wife was when I met her. She was on lithium, and I'm. I can. I was almost like what, that Duracell guy that was like the or f- ever ready. <laughs> she, ever ready. Ever, okay. Oh, not even the <laughs> good quality. Her drum, was, her drum was beating at all times. Don't don't uh-huh. don't don't. <laughs> um, no, but she. Uh, I I ended up leaving. For for another chick after that, mm-hmm. which was which was good because she was already you know off the res and nut nut city and, <clears throat> and then she went on, got on crystal meth and and she gained a bunch of weight then lost a bunch of weight and I called it crystal curves you know because she, <laughs> she gained a bunch of weight and then and then she lost it so she had the stretch marks and it was like oh God. covered in bingo <laughs> wings <laughs> bingo wings dude it was bad. It was bad. so bad it was bad. <laughs> well, I'm pleased. Uh, I'm pleased you're over it. I'm also pleased that uh, your voice is uh, that much better. Yeah, we're going to run a show tonight. Uh, I, I want to invite you on if you have time. You're more than welcome to come on. We'd I, love to have you. Yeah, I, I, I would absolutely <laughs> love to. I'm obviously going to be the nice guy while I'm on the show and go. Yes, I'm definitely going to be on there and probably bomb out at the last minute. Here's I. It's my, probably going to be his nap time. Let's no, it's be. no, no, no. It's not. In all fairness, no. I, I had there's a there's a there's a business thing I'm trying to put together very quickly and I'm kind of on a time stretch with it. So depending how my afternoon is going, Here's the so thing, Miguel, if you he's probably going to be there because I'll. Just wake him up from his nap and just go, "Hey, Steve." Really? <laughs> and that in the bathroom. <laughs> wow! Fuck both of you with barge poles. Good grief. Hey, Steve, Steve yes. don't worry about it. I'll take any one again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, no, I would actually love to be on it. It was really fun the last time, even though I was terribly bad at it. It just—it's a very weird dynamic for me. Bad at it. I was bad at it. So it's no, 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 no. You guys were cool with it. Oh, listen to us we're both Why don't jerking you each other off room? now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we got fans making games for us now. We got a fan from Japan who I just talked to yesterday who, who are making games for us now. Oh, fantastic! And there's a game that he has that I think that would be right up your alley. It's like it's called Kick or Kickstarter. Uh huh. To where you do he's got products and then you have to build that product and then you have to see where you're going to invest your money and it's it's going to be a lot of fun because oh, cool. it's just going to be a cluster app oh yeah absolutely <laughs> absolutely so yeah i would love to be on uh, uh, uh yeah i will talk to you later today i'm i'm pretty sure yeah it would be cool normally normally i'd be like absolutely 100 percent yes i ha- i have like seven days to get this this uh this one business thing sorted out and i'm i'm he's hit all panic modes yes mm-hmm. so okay all right I'd like, to write, I'd like to rewrite the Toto song for your video. <laughs> okay. Oh right, if you and do I, that, I will do that one. Jeez. It's going to be something to the effect of, Steve's the only gay down in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I might have to just mime that when I'm down there, because they're not very gay-friendly from what I've heard. No, no, like uh, Uganda, there's like mm-hmm. a band, they'll, they'll actually kill gay men and women it's nuts it's insane yes yeah they saw this crazy documentary on it and it's they show like people you know like the two girls one cup kind of thing but with men and they'll show those videos and it's like you see what these people are doing they're eating the poo poo and it's it's, it's very (laughs) bizarre and you get these weird missionaries coming from the united states going over there and spouting the same crap and it's 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 insane it's 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 insane what they're doing to those people so what time what time is your show tonight (laughs) Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock on Blab I am and yeah, that East, is East, East, East Coast time. East Coast, seven o'clock. Okay. All right. 
I will catch up with you later. Nobody on Periscope can hear you. So what nope. they're actually currently watching is all of us they're just going, sat there smiling. Why are you guys talking? Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> so tell them, make sure they make sure they go on and on their speaker and look up Ghetto Blaster. I did a five step Saturday. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah, so go, well. mm-hmm. go to go to speaker that, that was, and type in Ghetto Blaster. Yeah, go to Spreaker dot com and type in Ghetto Blaster. You guys can we'll put it on the site and we'll we'll do that. Yeah. yeah. DJ'd in like ten years and man, it was a hit. So they they're hiring me back uh, for another show. I get paid eighty bucks. Can't complain. Good. No, absolutely not. Good. No, that's the way to do it. Okay, mate. Well, I will catch up with you later. Cheers. Uh, bye. 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 All right. Sorry, everybody in Periscope. Now you can. They're be all part. just going. Who what? are you guys talking to? What are you laughing about? I, what? I would dearly love. To, I I don't know. Maybe you need I to figure just, out how to like. I can. Plug I need, in, plug in, plug in, plug. I need the eye rig. That's all I need. What is how much does that cost? Like is 40, it off the Chemical Guys site or forty bucks? And it's not from Chemical Guys. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, forty bucks isn't that bad. I know we spent more on that on whiteboards. Yes, I know. We have a whiteboard problem. We have one, two, three, four, um, five, six as of this afternoon in yes. our office. Mm-hmm. I actually ran out of wall. Um, more walls. <laughs> uh, there's a wall there. Well, the one's going there, and then I have our calendar one that we have as Which well. Which needs to go that's there. That's for you and me. <coughs> so, yeah, we okay, have so, a major so I think, white... No, I think Explain. We should, we should see, put that okay, lower so that whiteboard, one. Mm-hmm. Whiteboard, mm-hmm. whiteboard, whiteboard, another one's going there, and I have another one there that needs to be hung up. Which so so is for a kind all the periscope problem. listeners, we, we we all three of yeah. us have our own business, and <laughs> so we he's like wow, yeah. <laughs> well, all all three of us have our own businesses, and and so we, we track them on that, and we also have mm-hmm. certain goals that we put up that we're trying to do. So yeah. and it's all separate to the show. We do the show just for fun because yeah. it's we're well, it here. Says cunty. And yes, <laughs> yours says cunty. Well, which is does it cool. say jabooby cunty or something? <laughs> Is that what oh you yeah, it's there? Bo- yeah, it's booby like, cunty. Oh, I, I just drew that. On. You just, just drew boobs, boobs on there. On there. <laughs> I forgot why. It was, it was something you asked me to do. Well, uh, okay. Oh, hang on. I'll have to get rid of this before the kids come home. You're never gonna remember to get rid of that before the kids come home, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, why is there a giant? Oh, is that a penis? Yes. <laughs> That's a really sad looking penis. I'm just saying. <laughs> so he's drawing a a. Oh, hang on. Wow. Okay. It's a crying penis. <laughs> it's a crying penis. That's like a sad rainbow. <laughs> oh, you want a rainbow? I can make the colors. <laughs> we have we have multiple colors. You can make mm-hmm. like a penis I rainbow. I can, but the kids will see That's it. That's like so. really a sad penis. That's really not a happy penis. I know. It's got shrunken balls as well. Yeah, you know. <laughs> like chicken feathers mm-hmm. been plucked out of them. They're like Shaved. hairless balls, but not really nice. Well, I can put hair on nice it. We well. have a black color in so he's gonna oh forget God. that before the kids come home. yeah so we have a whiteboard problem that's what i've noticed and the fact that i've run out of walls that's a problem i was like we can move the poster the v for vendetta but i can't no, reach I that like whiteboard that. i always i like that i i find that that poster very motivating i don't like it that's like my least favorite poster we oh have. really yeah. and i think it's one of the coolest yeah ones. i like it I think that for for the well, other whiteboards we can like double up on that wall there. That's what I was thinking. Like lower lower that one mm-hmm. and put the calendar mm-hmm. one higher. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. <sighs> uh, Stephanie said um, about Rose and her tits and nudes and stuff. She said no, she's interested in her ass and her chest. Sorry, sorry. No, that's right. only what you know right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Rose is just taking what she can get. She's just she's just you know. She's just really interested. <laughs> More than that, even. She's interested in a relationship. <laughs> How awkward should I make this right now? What? How awkward should I make this right now? Um, you can make it pretty awkward. Okay. So we all know that Steph. all Rose is doing is basically just showing the pictures that Steph is sending to Rose as she as Rose then is, is uh, pleasuring her husband. She's going, look at these as I do this to you. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> I hope you guys oh, go out as, for dinner. That's really, so fucking as a awesome. Really quick yes. update to our Marcus Miguel Rose and Steph story. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, and go. Really quick update. I'm not. I'm not gonna stay in this long, but um, I had a long conversation um, with it Marcus works. this weekend. So what I gathered from that. It's, it's kind of interesting. Steve, are you sitting down? I am sitting down. Because I think that Marcus... Oh, hang on. I haven't been given the... 
I haven't been given... Brace uh, yourself. <laughs> that's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> no, seriously. Brace yourself. <laughs> so. I, I, I haven't heard the update, and I'm not <laughs> terribly happy with... So, with you know how I said going. Marcus was really interested in Miguel? Uh, yes. I do... Do you actually believe uh, can Marcus? We just, can we stop actually, one moment? Can uh-huh. we stop one moment? Uh-huh. I am slightly annoyed that clearly Ethan is fully aware of what is about to take place, and I am sat well, here. I told you, but you were in the bathroom. You can't use that excuse for everything. <laughs> you were in the bathroom a lot. Well, it's like seventy-five percent of your life. I know, but that's where I can read. So here's the thing. By the way, don't ever, ever accept any books that I give you to borrow. No, because they'll be covered in fecal matter, basically. Even though you can't see it, it's just floating in the air, little little so, morsels. Marcus doesn't like this music, but here's the thing, Marcus. <laughs> really, Marcus? You don't like this music? There we go. Oh, you missed. Marcus isn't so much interested in Miguel as we thought he was. Okay. He's actually somebody named Steve. What? <laughs> Do what? <laughs> Marcus? Oh, we're using me as a <laughs> no. as a name. No. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Oh, we're using yes. me as a name. Mm-hmm. Yes and, and no at the same time. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Say, it's a guy named Steve that I know that, um, yeah. May or may not be married to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I was included as an offer as well. So it would have been like a... Whoa, 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 did, whoa. <laughs> hold on there! I had, hold on! Whoa, Hossie! Whoa, whoa! The fact is, whoa. is that, you know, Marcus is... I love is, that I do the actions even though I'm on radio. Nobody can see these actions, but I do. Them. Whoa! And I'm, I'm riding a horse. Here's the over, overview. Marcus is happy with can Steph. You? She's amazing. She's awesome. He's not completely satisfied. And he just... Kind of wish that he would have had Steve at one point. <laughs> Why is it like? I, I, Miguel, what, I Miguel gets really pissed off at Marcus. I'm t- <laughs> turned around and stamped right off. <laughs> it's not that he's like so. Marcus so Miguel like really did Miguel. exist. M- uh-huh. Miguel is. Miguel is a current. Miguel is a current. In the vicinity Marcus just really of wished place. when he knew Steve and was around Steve, he could have had Steve. <clears throat> Dude, what part of me taking you <laughs> onto a fucking porn site did you not understand that I'm as straight as it fucking comes? So to speak. <laughs> Bad choice of words. It's not like I hope you're all playing like gay Steve penis. Bingo today because this thing is rocking, I'm telling you now. <sighs> yeah, no, I think I think basically, um, you know... He, Highlight would have been like threesome. But what? What me with 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 R two D two? Yeah, J- Jane and Stephen Marcus. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, he doesn't even want Steph involved in no, that. No, no. This was like pre Steph. <laughs> so did did Marcus ever come but on I to you? Thi- no. Mm-mm. But he's clearly into you. He only wanted Apparently. to come on you. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. I com- think that's no, accurate. I am okay. not comfortable with my son <laughs> saying things like that to me on an open airway. There's something inherent. You know, it's the thing that stopped cousins fucking for centuries. There's there's a there's a weird genetic line that kind of happens, and you go, no, Ew. no, no, no. You? Um, no, I actually think that's it. So good. I, I would have just been. Um, I think I wouldn't have been used properly. I think I would have had a strap on. We're just going down that angle. Okay, I'm not going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going on all fours with you know as a dual team with Marcus, so you can butt fuck both of us. That's fucked up. I don't up. think it was for both of both of you guys. I, I think it might have been just for you, but I'm not totally sure. Hang on, so what's Marcus doing while I'm getting butt fucked by you? Oh no, I think it's like I, a, a, a human dickipede. <laughs> <It's> like- <laughs> So much sometimes. <laughs> a human dick of pee. See, I saw the visual and he said that. I was like, yes, that's the word I was looking for. Like, like, you're on all fours, and then Marcus is in between. Just getting spit roasted. Yeah. No, 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 I don't think Marcus no. was in between. No. no. No, I think it was Marcus 
Then Steve, like Marcus behind Steve. Can we explain? Can we explain the dick connection so oh, I can no. visualize? Oh, wait, no. See, no, because if you had a strap on, I, I, I would think it would be Steve on all fours, and <laughs> Marcus there, and then you. I am. Yeah, with yeah. Marcus with the strap on. What? Yeah, I think that was. It. Basically, I was to be. Marcus wants to um, fuck Steve. Do I need to draw this out for you? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. We have you can't. You can't draw it on that one. <laughs> that one won't work. Go on his. That's fine. Go yeah, on his. You can. You can. You can draw fine. into the sad dick. Okay. Uh, um, there's a white thing there. You can. Yeah. Now Miguel's like, but what about a Marcus Miguel double stuff? I mean, I'm sure that's open too. I think it's kind of anything. Oh my god, you are so last Thursday. <laughs> I, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, yeah. I was I really surprised understand. because what? I, you're not fucking around now. No, I'm not so, fucking around. <laughs> Ironically, I'm the one not fucking around. Um, no, 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 no. Absolutely, it's uh, weird um, because Marcus, um, Steve and Jane. I've only scenario. had I've only had two gay men openly say they would want to fuck me. Well, I make that three. No, I'm including <laughs> him. It's oh, only two, okay. so but two. they're both very different people. So. But I, did, I didn't think that... Well, this one's a young one, too. I know. You got an yeah. old guy and a young one. Yeah. It's not bad. It's all right, I know. I guess the old guy is actually your age, so it really doesn't... Never mind. Um. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. Yeah. I don't know where to go with this. I, I know. I thought you wouldn't. But I, I wanted to give that update. I had a lot of conversations. He started asking me how to buy stuff. He, I think... How to what stuff? How to like buy stuff like to go to New Fine oh, Arts. Oh, purchase. Yes. As in not... Bu- okay. Yeah. Not people. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but strap-ons okay. and what ones are good ones and that kind of stuff. And not for a guy, but to like, you know, have Steph use it on him because that's his only option right now. So, Yeah. And as Marcus said, he says, uh, coming up the rear. <clears throat> I, I'm, 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 I never in the history of any broadcasting has this theme, uh, which I've, which I've, I've completely it's stolen. Marcus's theme. <laughs> it's Marcus's. Oh my god, it is. Okay. Oh yes. fuck to the no. Yes. No, yes. no, no. That's the day. <laughs> okay, you need to, Periscope needs to see this. Okay, so so basically, oh, there's Jane over? in purple um, behind Marcus, who is fucking Steve, who's on all fours. Yes, I think that's exactly how it's supposed to be. So Marcus wants to give it and receive it at the same time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm on all fours. What? <laughs> I, what the hell? Why am I, I always? You can like, have knee pads. I don't want knee. <laughs> I don't want they pads. sell them at New Fine Arts. You can pick some up. Um, <laughs> Somebody was like, my dick is big. <laughs> Maybe they went in on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yours, yeah, you've actually Steve's got some mouth. distance. Well, yeah, it, it's, a, it's, it's a strap on. So uh-huh. that's why it's a different color. <laughs> Somebody asked me, is this a gay broadcast? No. <laughs> Not. You'd be <laughs> yes, surprised. So we have somebody named Lickologist and somebody named Cow Rider that's like, I have a big dick, and somebody's going, is this a gay broadcast? No, it's it's not. It was just an update from... It's um, a, we, explain actual, what happened. actual friend of mine yes. uh, had a question about, like, you know, sex advice relationship, problem with his, you know, current wife, who he's not been married too long. And, and, and basically, I kind of explained it by using um, our listeners' names. Um, sorry, and thank you. Um... So, so yeah, so basically, Marcus is married to Steph, not completely happy. We've changed the names to protect the innocent. Yeah. Because the friend didn't want his name broadcast. No. So we decided to just change them for random names, yeah. which coincidentally happened to be some of our our, our, our friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, some, and they, <laughs> Who also they said, oh, oh, that marriage is going to end very soon. Um, yeah. It's yeah. you know it's a weird thing because the marriage is so part of that person's church and life and friendship. Yeah, this is like heavy duty religious stuff going on. Yeah, this is yes. Now, see, I asked Marcus, would he ever cheat on stuff if he had like the hottest woman in front of him? Mm-hmm. Would you act? And she just went, "Fuck me now." Would mm-hmm. you just go, okay, is this is this the kind of level he's at? You know, whether it's a woman or a guy. And he's like, no, no, I wouldn't do it because I love stuff too much. I could never do that. And I'm like, so you want her to okay all of this? And he's like, yeah, that's how it has to be. 
So he's, he's not, not prepared to cheat on her. No. He's not even prepared to cheat on her with me. But what if? Yeah, but what if Steve was in front of him and said, "Fuck me now." Yeah, well, no, he won't do anything. Well, to the her, thing is, it, 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 you know, it's weird because you know we um uh, he <laughs> he came to one of our he came to, <laughs> Marcus came to one of our shoots and we uh, we we actually you know I I, I need to help with the, wow this is gonna sound so weird with equipment <laughs> setting stuff up it was actually it was all really the big and heavy it was the electronic side okay that sounds worse <laughs> it was the computer side of stuff and 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 he was board. he was a deer in headlights for the entire day it was hilarious yeah i know he was he was the like... best part of that day uh-huh. was when oh god i've got to remember to use this guy's name properly so when marcus came through the door <laughs> right uh-huh. and one of the vodka girls walked past and went oh we fucking him <laughs> and he just was like, no, I'm just here to help. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so casual. As she, she hardly even glanced at him. And it was just this kind of twist of her finger, like him, and just wow. walked into the bedroom. Another checklist on, on the gay Steve checklist. I'm not on gay. Oh my Did God. you see that wrist? Tw- <laughs> I know. Oh I my know. God. I, I saw it. It's uh, like yeah, at least yeah. one check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I know, and he's still bringing that up, and and you know, mm-hmm. we actually offered Marcus his own like porn site. Yes, we did back in the day. We st- yes, and, it yeah, was, we were gonna. And it, it pretty much it was gonna play to exactly the type of character he was. Basically, uh, the whole premise would hey, be. Hey, careful! What? Okay, well, you're not saying he, what? No, he, okay. no, he okay. would he would go to a bar and effectively you know pick up a chick and <laughs> take it back to. <laughs> his place and 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 generally at least one or two as well and you know he would have an entire series mm-hmm. and it would be a whole website and yep. and that and he said and no he chose not to yeah he chose not to we actually gave him a contract there and then i wrote a contract out on a napkin because that's what you do <laughs> and i was like let's do this and and he was no and now he's all oh i really love to have done that yeah like, now he was just he did bye, Felicia. so marcus once that needs to be on the list <laughs> So, yeah, so Marcus wished he would have signed the porn contract because at least he would have, like, awesome sex. Now, he's claiming now his wife is, like, amazing at sex. He's saying stuff is great. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, he just needs more. But she wasn't a few months back. No. But apparently, like, he said all the cards are on the table now. So he said, I think it's going to be, this is the best it's going to be. Yeah. You see, and the worst part is, is that clearly Steph is just trying now. She's not yeah. the fact that she was crap and now apparently she's brilliant. Okay, mm. he's probably just he's, okay, she's probably just allowing him, anal. I think That's probably what's going on. No, she's not. Oh um, really? No, she's not. Um, no. So There's no hope for that relationship. No, uh, Mark is saying they've he, always said a way to a man's heart is through his stomach, and <laughs> it's the most stupidest thing ever. Way to a man's heart is anal. <laughs> We all uh, know this. The, the, the real Marcus says, "I've got a feeling <laughs> this guy's a public personality. He's not, but he's known." Yes, he Ish. is known. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus desperately trying to separate himself from the person again. <laughs> I've got a feeling this guy. Yeah, okay, Marcus. This guy <laughs> might be a public personality. <laughs> well, you're a manager, aren't you? Just saying. <laughs> now, I, you know, I, I see so many other issues. You know, he was just like, oh, at that, you know, at the porn shoot, was that like, you know, was the strap on that I was recommending him to get? He was mm-hmm. like, is that the one you guys use then? I'm like, no. <laughs> oh yeah so are you pulling out your... actually I'm not going to pull that out now okay something weird happened to I was about to the, say the you're going to pull out your dick but I guess <laughs> something weird happened to the dildo in my drawer I think it got very hot and humid in there what <laughs> it's nasty <laughs> weirdest thing ever well we drew on it a long time ago and I think that ink that was in it has kind of just stayed in there but it, I think when it gets hot I think the ink I think I, I don't know something discolored is that what you're saying oh god <laughs> okay um, Miguel says the way 100% to his heart is through his belly Steve sorry I'm just Miguel says <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> what? Uh, ew yeah, what, so I'm, what I'm, the I'm, fuck is that I, I don't, I don't, I th- cheese I th- yeah <laughs> I don't know why 
I really don't know what happened there. But I'm thinking we'll just okay, so that is throw like, that away. That is like an infected dick. You so, can put no, your cock I've away. I've got an idea, right? I've got an idea. Because let's face no, it. No, it's not Super Gummy Miguel. It's like, it's a regular like dildo. It's like a flesh-colored dildo. And it's like, it had a little bit of like pen mark on it. Mm-hmm. Like a little bitty mark on it. Now, we drew, well, we, no, I drew veins on it. I remember doing that. on bread. Yeah, it's and like then I green guess transfer that to a dildo. Yeah. That still smells latexy. Oh. Okay, this is what I'm going to do, right? Because let's face it, right? No uh-huh. seagull's going to get caught up in this. Uh-huh. I'm going to throw this in the ocean. It's just going to. And it's just going to float. It'll float. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, this will float. Why will this, that float? That's pretty heavy. Because it's latex. Uh, it'll float. I think it's pretty fucking heavy. Yeah, I don't think like I don't think they'll just float in the ocean. But they need to. Because if they did, we'd find more of them. <laughs> oh, I have a head mark on my Jesus system. Thanks hammer. for inviting followers. Uh, I got a lot of people on Periscope going, I don't know what's going on, but they're they're uh, going, okay, yeah, people should follow this. Uh, Marcus says, the real Marcus says, as an update, he got on the scale this morning. He's under 300. Dude! That is awesome. Fucking brilliant. That's well good. done. And I'm not being condescending. That's, yeah. that you that is sound a- like you were, but... No, seriously, <laughs> that is fucking awesome. And and look, here's the thing, just so we're completely clear, dude, you're gonna until you drop another ten, you're gonna be bouncing above and below it constantly. Once you get to two ninety, you will never ever get back to that weight again. Just keep going down. Wow, fuck, he's catching me up. I know, I know. You better so, stop eating. Well, my hands smell of <laughs> cock. Well, later. <latex. laughs> Um, as as and then as another update. Today's like the update show. Yes. You went to the doctor yesterday. Oh yeah. Finally, yeah. I got him to go to the doctor. Mm-hmm. Finally yes. had the appointment. Seriously, Marcus, that's, that's fucking we awesome. I'm, I'm I'm I don't want to say I'm really proud because that just sounds condescending. But no, it's really that that's is really good. fucking cool. No. That is really cool. If you listen closely, you can almost hear the sincerity in his voice. <laughs> oh, I'm genuinely <laughs> sincere about that. I I just no, weight is like yeah. I, I, my big wake up call was when, when my doctor, like in California, turned around and said, if you don't do something about this, you are not going to see your kids graduate. And that was a real fucking wet. I was like, holy shit, they're going to be fatherless. And that has been my drive ever since. So, no, dude, that is fucking awesome. Keep it up. That's good. So, so you went to the doctor. <sighs> yeah. He gave you lots of medicine. The, my doctor's <laughs> awesome because basically we spent pretty much the entire appointment talking about my Audi. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, is that your S5 out there? I was like, yes, it is. <laughs> and he was like, ah, oh, it says a V8. I didn't know they did a V8. No, they did. It was just a one year. They did it for one year. Special. Yeah, now you have the you know flimsy 3.2 turbo, which has the same power as the V8. Everybody asleep now? Yeah. Okay. So we spent most of the, uh, we spoke more about the Audi than we did about me. Yeah, it was not fun. Oh, I enjoyed it. (laughs) I enjoyed it. But yes. Uh He wants me to pay three and a half grand to have somebody fucking watch me while I'm sleeping. I'm like, I can put that on Chatterbait and actually make that much money. Frosty says my youngest graduates next Tuesday, so bring on the chocolate cake. (laughs) That's right, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Jeez. <laughs> just while he's at the graduation he's just there with a huge cake just spooning it in like I've done it I don't need to get Starts any further that's, after she walks across the stage that's it yeah. mm-hmm. that's it <laughs> <laughs> now so he wants you to like do a sleep study which mm-hmm. is like three grand yep because he thinks you sleep apnea mm-hmm. you have sleep apnea and that you snore and that's causing you to not sleep so your brain can't reset and restore itself i'm like you know what for three grand i don't need to pay anybody to do that because i know you stop breathing at night yeah, I, I know you snore because i have to kick you all night long it's yeah. a surprise he's still alive it is. It is. Oh, I forget to breathe during the day. It's astonishing. <laughs> I know you do. I, I will be watching TV and I suddenly go, <gasps> and I was like, holy <laughs> shit, how long have I not been breathing for? I, yeah, I go into a complete comatose state. So and Yeah, it's, you know, yeah, Frosty says sleep on your side with only one pillow, it helps. It actually doesn't. It, he only sleeps with one pillow and he does sleep mostly on his side, but he has to sleep. Mm. I'm better now, though. You are better now. But, yeah, so he's, like, saying, oh, I think you're not sleeping, and that's why, you know. 
So he's put me back on my heart medicine again, which mm-hmm. you see, I find tablets very depressing. See, and I know I should you view take, them. What, how many now? Five hundred. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, I know you should view tablets like, well, you know, this is good because this is getting you back. But to me, it's like the fact I'm taking them, I have this damage. I already have, so I've been. But put you can't change that. Back, on, I I know, but it it still doesn't help that kind of why I'm damaged. And I'm trying to I'm trying to realign how I think about this to go. Well, I'm taking that. That's damage that's happened, but at least that's going to keep me going. Mm-hmm. And I need to improve on the rest, so I don't need to take any more. And Miguel says he has sleep apnea, but he sleeps with a wedge pillow. Yeah, I'm not that gay, so <laughs> I'm not going to do that. So I bet when he says a wedge pillow, he probably means one of those like One's Japanese with a big cock on it. Oh, I was going to go with the Japanese, like, anime girl pillow thing. <laughs> with her legs open, yeah. He sleeps in an anime crotch pillow. So now do you want one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> of Rihanna. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't sleep all night? No, I wouldn't. Well, I would. I'd sleep face down mm. with my tongue out. Now, Frosty says he has his wife say, wake up, you're not breathing. Yeah, I do have to do that, mm. too. And mm. it's it's annoying. Yeah, one I, day, I gotta one, say, One day you won't be able to do that. Wake up, Steve, you're not breathing. Wake up, Steve. You're not so breathing. So you're saying I get to go back to sleep? Yeah, you can. Okay, yeah. cool. No, it's like, I, and I'm just going to put I'm it out there. I'm going to be hard as a rock within about an hour or so, so you can take advantage of that. Fantastic. So I can have like a little power nap beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, you know, and, and I do. Like when you stop breathing, when you're <laughs> having those nights. Name woman corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can, I can probably get you a Rihanna potty pillow. Awesome. I, I think it says create your own I, pillow. I see I see it? um Father's Day present coming up. Absolutely. Um. If I could have it reversible so I could have Rihanna and then Demi Lovato on the other side. <laughs> I'd like them both in open leg poses. <laughs> that would be awesome. That's so bad. <laughs> So do you feel better? You're on your tablets now today. At least you get to start taking those again. Get better. You're losing weight still. You're at 269. That's In good. the words of R. Kelly, my mind's telling me no, but my body, my body's telling me yes. Another check. Um, <laughs> did it? Wasn't, hey, I'm not pissing on 15 year old uh, girls, so I ain't that bad. Wasn't? It's raining. Oh wasn't what? Oh, Nothing. Kelly. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. So yeah. Um <laughs> I don't like taking tablets. I, I just I feel very defeatist when I have to take tablets. But it'll and, make you feel better. You know. So that's good. It'll make you healthier. Oh yeah, and I'm back on testosterone, so that's gonna be fucking rocking in about three weeks. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be your bum. fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I like Ethan's having small like, pricks in my take bum. That? What? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> We used to do it live on the show. We used to actually <laughs> periscope it because it was just something to do. And uh, yeah, because I'm well, a baby. I was we live before we were on I, periscope. I am a big baby when it comes to needles. Yeah. And the idea of a little prick going in my bum. Yeah, you really can't handle it. No. See, that's why I'm you not, want a Ironically, I'm not gay. here's the thing. He actually doesn't like the smallest pricks I can use. He likes the larger ones. Because it goes faster. <laughs> I, I, I tried I using a 25 gauge yesterday he was like that's just taking a long time that's yeah. and so i switched it out i pulled it out and I'll yeah whoever's in there i like them to finish quickly so i got I a 21 yeah, gauge instead yeah. amp that sucker up i used an 18 gauge on you once you didn't like that so much you know anybody that knows what we're talking about now you are clearly a drug addict that's all i'm gonna say i wonder People know what that is i wonder if no, they don't if you women do inject it directly into your taint or ball sack it would be more effective she had to stop me i was going to squirt it in my mouth i was like well it goes in me can't i just squirt the testosterone straight in my mouth and swallow it and apparently that's a big no-no because well it's intramuscular that it's, means nothing to it's me it's not an oral medication <laughs> she's an oral like a kid <laughs> oh honey most things in life aren't oral but we do what we can you <laughs> I have to make sure I rub all that off before the kids come home. Just take a picture, uh, so everybody, so everybody on the speaker chat room can see it because yeah, they can't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that. need to post that. Don't post it on Facebook. You'll still get banned for yeah. that one. Oh, that could be our cover picture That's for today. Day. Yeah, <laughs> the Stephen Marcus and Jane. I mixture. don't claim to have been to art school. <laughs> That's okay. It's pretty good. It's better than his sad penis. That is, that is that is, a, that is. Oh yeah. yeah. Hang on. 
Yes, and Miguel says, yes, it has to go directly into the muscle. You toss her. <laughs> He's actually taking photos oh, I'm taking of it. Photos. Yeah, that's going to be the show. <laughs> There's two of his ten photos for the month. So make sure, <laughs> yeah, go, make right. sure <laughs> to go to... Um, Roosterfm.com. Rooster FM. Mm-hmm. Or on speaker. It'll be on speaker. On speaker. As well. and, you speaker and you can see the show notes. That will be up like, you know, about mm-hmm. what, 30 minutes to an hour after the show. Yep. And you'll yeah. be able to see the photo that Ethan drew of the Steve Marcus <laughs> so Jane cool. um, Dick. What did you call it? Uh, human Dickipede. Human Dickipede. So we, need to, we need to add that. <laughs> See, you need I to change the name that. of the You'll show. Have to spell that. You need to so, change the name of the show. Yeah, human Dickipede. Because you Dickipede. actually named the show what? Open Chess? Open Chess. I'm doing this like in another Periscope with my other business, and it's like I do it at a different, a different time. And like normally, I get people going open bobs. It's it's for career bobs. advice and yeah and yeah so forth. Yeah, yeah, my re- resume Jane dot com, but I so I do. I'm starting to do that, and it's like everybody that comes on there is just like I don't know if it's a different time of day or a different like region of the world that's on there, but they're like open chest. Open mm-hmm. chest now, please. Open which is, chest. Which I need your disturbing. chest open. <laughs> it's just like that's like yeah. I mean, it's not like just a misspelling. It's like a total like it's, miscommunication yeah. in like English. See, so. so we need to get some prosthetic chest so you can literally go open go, chest wow. and just rip the skin open, the blood <laughs> yeah. pours out, and I just find it great. It's like yeah, it, it's human dick. Thank feed. you, <laughs> human See. dick feed. So yeah, I, I like the open chest thing. That's pretty good. Now Steve's taking more photos of the human dickipede photo. You should you should put your In little theater like, soon. You know, <laughs> you should put your little name out at the bottom. <laughs> I wonder if there's a porn video of that. I mean, surely there's a the porn video of the human centipede. There is a porn. Is it called yeah. the dickipede? No, I think it's actually. Isn't it called? I th- there is a porn parody is out. There? Yeah, okay. and it's basically a whole bunch of girls like face to ass. I bet there's a gay one of the Dickipede. Oh, I can guarantee there's Ethan's a... Ethan's going to check that Ethan's for us. Ethan's on that right now. Uh, well, the Urban Dictionary for Human Dickipede says, when a bunch of guys get together and insert their dicks into each other's butts, forming a semen into my ass whilst I ejaculate into this guy's ass effect. <laughs> Though those are optional if the participants, for whatever reason, aren't male. I thought that's called a Greek handshake. <laughs> I thought that what? was called... I thought, where they just connect dick to dick, I thought that's called a Greek handshake. I have the sentence no was, "Man, idea. that was one crazy orgy last night." Did you see that human dickipede in the corner? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the Urban Dictionary needs to put that in a context so that we'll understand it. Do you know, there's uh-huh. a Greek handshake. A oh, Marcus around. made a good. No, a, gre- a reach around is when one reach around another's body to grab their penis, either clothed or not. Oh, really? It's a Greek hand. Oh, okay. Wow, that explains so much. So, I mean, it could happen in the human dickipede. I guess. Right. Yeah. It's legit. <laughs> that explains my holiday in Greece in the 90s so much more. Oh, yeah. I forgot, oh, I forgot to give you a dick. Excuse me? <laughs> you don't have a dick in that picture like everybody else does. You have. I will correct that for me. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Um, so, uh, I better know, touch the floor, motherfucker. Um, uh, Miguel said to look up a 10-inch mutant ninja turtle. The ten inch, yeah, because they did a porn parody of the mutant Ninja Turtles, and oh, that's really? fucked up. Is it? Because they literally they are in the Ninja Turtle costumes, oh, like the that. full prosthetic head. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'm adding to that. I ain't having that. I'm gonna make that more realistic. God. So where's the eraser? Fuck off. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I saw there was this thing like it's and it's becoming apparently a big problem in like. Germany, Austria, Greece. Um, but they're, they're called like um, uh, sex roulette parties. And it's basically among like, oh no, it's in Spain. That's where it is. It's in Spain because you want to go to Spain so much. I thought that was funny. Messy. <laughs> and, and basically one person there has HIV, but nobody knows who it is. And so it's like, they say it's like a thrill to have sex with everybody, not knowing if you're going to get HIV or not. And so like all the Spanish doctors are saying, this is actually becoming like an epidemic of a problem because they're having to prescribe... Where the hell is Messi so when I want to abuse him? ...antiviral medications right. that they're less likely to get it. Mm-hmm. But they said that all the participants are like going, oh no, just the fact that we might get it is just, that's the thrill of it all. You see, I understand, you know, the idea of like, you know, perhaps going wingsuited, you know, and you're, you're flying through the air at, you know, 300 miles an hour and you could die and there's a thrill to that. Mm-hmm. The idea of banging another dude with the idea that you might die this horrible, slow, painful death doesn't seem so exciting. 
<laughs> 200 miles an hour into a, into a cliff, right yeah, up to the moment of the impact, now. you're like, fucking hell, this is awesome. And then you know you're going to die and it's done. That's it. But you're going to have possibly years of going, Yeah, you may not this know wasn't so fun. And you're starting to... I've seen Philadelphia. I know what Tom Hanks looks like. And I don't want to. I don't want to die looking like Tom Hanks. Wait, what? Well, I assume I had a everybody. Cousin looked. that had AIDS, and he died from AIDS. And oh, did he? Yeah, and he didn't look like that when he died. He didn't look like Tom Hanks. No, he did not. So you don't look like Tom Hanks when you die. No, not everybody. It might be some people, but he didn't. Oh, okay. Well, uh. <laughs> I can definitely not see you looking like Tom Hanks, no matter what kind of venereal <laughs> disease that you've acquired. I, well, what if he gets all of them at once? <laughs> then I will look like Tom Hanks. I just don't want to look like Tom Hanks when I die. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd like to look like I Liza Minnelli. Of course you would. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Stephanie just joined us and said, yeah, y'all are still on. All right, so we will see <laughs> no, you guys off. tomorrow. Um, yes. Yes. Make sure to go to our Rooster FM page or on Spreaker to take a look at the human dickipede picture that Ethan has drawn. Mm-hmm. So masterfully. Mm. <laughs> he he could cool. a Steve in the Marcus and Jane scenario. See, that's actually, a, I, I think that would be a really good job for him. Every day, at some point during the show, he needs to draw an, an artistic pictorial interpretation of the show so far. That's a good job for See? him. See? That'd be kind of cool because you're obviously <laughs> quite good at drawing. <laughs> 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 no, I really like that. Okay. All right. We'll catch everybody tomorrow. And um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure to check out the picture. We'll be, be up in about 30 minutes to an hour. That's right. Depending how like, slow Steve is. Just kind of... Yes. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. And uh, thanks for listening to the Gene and Steve show. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.